the guys have uh, they put a lot of good time and effort and energy. We've been in, you know, working a lot with conditioning and some other things as well too. We look strong, and the good thing is 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 we've got you know some veteran guys. Um, but again, we got to get to the court and know we have a tough schedule ahead. We'll be ready. We're excited for it. Just a couple. I got to give a couple quick things on Memphis Madness next week. Doors open at 5:30, but the event is from 7 to 9. Okay, <clears throat> it's going to be the theme is going to be about the legends of Tiger basketball. That's our theme this year, and it's going to be a great evening and dunk contest and everything else. Um, but the theme is about the legends of Tiger basketball. So I'm trying to get all the great Tigers uh, back and and to uh, give them a shout out. And we're going to do some different contests kind of like the NBA All-Star game, that shooting star game where you have like a legend and a, and, a, and a current player. We're going to do some different things like that. The other thing is what we're going to do is uh, I got a couple people to step up, like Taco Bell. We're going to, first of all, you got to be in the stands to win this. But you're going to, your, you're going to get your name called if you are, are there and you're picked out to be able to do it. But uh, uh, Taco Bell is giving away a, a year's worth of free tacos. So someone's going to have an opportunity to win that. Um, uh, you have a chance to win a 2013 Ford F-150. We'll pull someone out of the crowd to shoot like a half-court shot to do that. Uh, have a chance to win a five-day, four-night trip to the battle uh, for Atlanta's tournament. All expenses paid uh, for that. Again, you've got to be in the building. You're in the building and your name gets called. You're going to have an opportunity to come on the floor and, and win that. Uh, courtesy of Blue Cross Blue Shield, you have a chance to, to win a Nintendo Wii. Uh, you have a chance, uh, thanks to our good buddy uh, Rick Ross, uh, wing stops for a year. Okay. Uh, also from City Gear, a $500 uh, uh, shopping spree. So uh, there's going to be some opportunities to win some great gifts, but you've got to be in the arena. And it's going to be your, 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 however they're going to do it, name or seat, however they're going to do it, the seat will be called um, at, uh, you know, at some point during the, uh, uh, right around the 8 o'clock hour. So that is that. Um, <clears throat> we're excited, and uh, we're, you know, one of the things I've stressed to our guys is about do your job. That's why we have that up there, commitment. You're either in or you're out. There is no in-between. Um, I'll probably have, you know, I'm sure Vernon will, will blast me on the radio in the next couple of days uh, about that. But that's okay, Chris. That's okay, Chris. Um, uh, but anyway, um, uh, uh, no, but then we had that up there, kind of our motto uh, basketball, like, you know, one team, one goal, no egos. That's kind of our thing right now. Uh, one team, one goal, no egos. And then having the guys interlocked, just trying to have it about together in this. So that's where we're at with that. Uh, any questions, fire away. So you've added the, the Big East? I so. Yeah, I mean, I added the Big East thing up there. I mean, obviously, we're still in Conference USA for, for another year. But, um, uh, you know, obviously for recruiting and things like that, as we're looking at the future for kids now at this point coming into – to the facility here, uh, they're going to be seeing, knowing that, okay, for this point moving forward for the kids that we signed, they're going to be playing in the Big East. Second thing is I told our guys, hey, <clears throat> you know, we're going to have to earn everything we get. That's our big thing too. You have to earn everything you get. You know, again, we can have our own individual feelings about the seating last year, but you know what? We earned probably where we were at, and if we don't do our job this year, we're going we're gonna to have to earn everything. And, um, you know, we're going to have to, we're gonna have to earn Every win, especially this being the final year of Conference USA, we're getting everyone's best shot, even more than ever. So we're going to have to be really, really ready to, to be ready to go. How important is it to get off to a good start? When, when you talk to fans out there, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's time. Well, yeah, well, a couple things. Look, I mean, we technically have won some top 25 games. They just haven't been top 25 at the time, you know. You know you know, you look at, at the, you know, we beat a team, but maybe at that time they weren't top 25. So I understand. I mean, look, there's two things I hear every time I'm out in the city. Coach, you're going to get a top 25 win, and are you going to get past the first round? I tell everyone, we're not in the first round. We've been to the second round back-to-back -back years, and that's by proven up there because the NCAA tournament is the second round. So, um, no, I, in all seriousness, I get it. I, I mean, we got we got to win some of these early season games. We're going to have opportunities, and um, we got to do our job. I, I mean, the facts are the facts. We're not going to get the the conference isn't going to get the credit it deserves. So in the bottom line, we're going to have to come away and, and get some early season wins, which is going to help us, you know, later on for seeding for the NCAA tournament. Based on the second round loss, do you look at last year as somewhat of a 
failure because you didn't get any further, or do you look at it as a total? No, you know, I, I think it was a uh, – uh, I, I, I was very proud of our guys. I mean, here, here's the thing. I mean, we hadn't won 20 of 23. I mean, we easily could have gone the other direction, especially after that Georgetown game. Um, and, uh, you know, and, 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 and um, you know, we had – we lost, you know, Adonis to an injury. Carmooch was out. So, you know, we, we were down two starters, and guys pulled together. Unfortunately, in that game in St. Louis, I mean, we had the game in control. We were up eight. So uh, we just – some things that didn't fall our way, and, 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 and we didn't stick together when we needed to stick together. So we, you know, ended up coming out with an L. Um, so uh, I, I felt that we were playing as good as any team in the country going into the NC2A tournament. I felt we got, a, unfortunately, a, a poor seeding, which, again, we earned that because we didn't take care of business early on. But I thought that the, the matchup was a bad matchup for us too. But those are things I've talked to our team about and I've talked to our staff about. If we're going to want to advance and really have the, the year we want to have, we're going to face teams like that because teams are going to try to play that way against us to try to uh, you know slow us down. So we're going to have to be able to handle that. How do you improve that, Coach, the sticking together part? Because that, you know, the last two years has kind of been an issue. Well, I mean, I will say this. I throw this stat out all the time. You know, through my three years as a head coach, we've had over 50% of our made field goals have been assisted. So 54%, 55%, 57%. So that means they're making the extra pass and we're sharing the ball. You know, I mean, it's just part of it. I mean, I think now through maturity, um, you know, I'm constantly talking about, you know, team. I'm, I'm, you know, as you see up there, everything is about togetherness and, and nothing, no, if you've, you'll notice things around the town, nothing's going to be featured of one individual. It's all is going to be about kind of the one team, one goal, no egos. And I get it. That doesn't guarantee that's going to get you wins or make anything. But you're, you're trying to hope that that's that, that, that repetitive sayings just kind of, you know, sink in the guys' minds at all times. So I think through maturity that will help too. With that last, said, year, last year you needed a bucket. Will Barton yeah. was the guy. Is Adonis that guy going in? Um, I, I, Mentally, uh, uh, he, uh, Adonis has been, I'll tell you, Adonis has shot the daylights out of it here in the preseason, has really, really shot well, um, has really shot the ball well. Um, I, hard to tell where if we, when we need a bucket, you know, to create your own shot. We haven't got to that point yet. We need more practice time to kind of see uh, on, a, on an everyday basis. Uh, but I think we'll definitely have a, uh, the opportunities to score. The thing that I'm concerned about is we've got to be a better rebounding team because we're losing nine rebounds basically from Will Barton and around you know a little over four rebounds from Wesley Witherspoon. That's 13 rebounds there. So uh, again, we were a good shot blocking team, one of the better ones in the country, which you don't get credit for in the defensive rebounding. So that the numbers can be a tad bit skewed, but we need to be a better rebounding team. That is important for us. And uh, so other guys are going to have to really step up and be able to get that done. Do you sense that Adonis is emotionally ready to take over? No, you had to get on him before. Yeah, right? no, no, he, he knows it. We talk about it. Um, in practice, he's constantly um, held accountable. Uh, if any time we talk about the teams, I say, Adonis, gather your team, or uh, okay, uh, Adonis, get your blue team, or Adonis, get your white team. And if they, and, and I put a lot on Adonis, and he knows he's got to perform and produce. And it doesn't performing and producing doesn't mean scoring 25. That just means, hey man, I got to rebound, I got to defend, I've got to get assist, I've got to get points, I've got to be really aggressive. And, and he knows that. And I think right before his injury last year, he was. He was taken off. So uh, um, right now he's really he's shooting the ball at a very very high level. But I also told me I don't want you living and dying by the jump shot either. Do you have a different comfort level with this team, being that you've now got an experienced <coughs> core? You know what you're getting out of just about everybody. Yeah, you, you know, Matt. Uh, in fact, uh, when I was on Jeff's show uh, on, on on Sports Files, he asked about the do I feel pressure. Um, you know, about going into the fourth year. I actually feel this is the first time where I actually don't feel as much pressure. I feel more that, okay, I, our, we have an older team. Again, that doesn't mean we're going to guarantee victories, but it allows you to have a, a, an opportunity to some saying, okay, guys kind of know what the expectations are. You have a comfort level. You've kind of like turned the corner. You know, we, we, we've been in the tournament back-to-back -back years, but now we've got to take it to a next step. Um, uh, so I think it's more just, okay, what do we need to do to accomplish what we need to accomplish one game at a time, one day at a time? And that's kind of where my focus is. So uh, I, it's more of just I'm, I'm at ease and at peace knowing that, okay, we've got our guys in place, and now it's you know, we gotta, we got to do the job on the floor. we got, we got to win some marquee games. we got to got to try to keep advancing in the tournament, and we got to do all that stuff. And it's not going to be easy because, like I said, I mean, 
in, especially in the league. I mean, we're, we're going to be picked to win it. And, and like I said, everyone's going to, this is the best chance, this is their final chance to get us, and they're going to be jacked up to get us. Coach, on, on, on paper, do you think this is a better roster this year than he has in the past? Well, to be determined, but I do think on paper we're finally a veteran squad, which will allow us to uh, have some guys with some maturity and understanding that, uh, uh, you know, about what it means playing for something, playing for seeding, what it means in those marquee games. I mean, our guys last year when we lose to Murray State, and, you know, Murray State's a good team, ends up being a really good team. I'm telling our guys before the game, guys, this is a scary game, a dangerous game. They're good. Um, you know, bo- and, they, and, you know, once you tell them that and then you had the loss and then here comes Selection Sunday and then you see maybe that loss does affect you, I think those things just resonate a lot more now because guys have been through it for two years and really understand, okay, every game, including the bye games, like there's nothing that doesn't matter. Everything's playing for something. Um, and I think that's, again, the maturity level of them finally understanding it, which they can also help the three new guys that we have here in, in Jaron, Damian, and Shaq to have them understand that as well. What do you expect out of those three guys? Uh, I expect all three to, to be able to produce and contribute and do their job. Um, I mean, we, we need all three to, to, st- to step can, up. Individually, can you individually I mean, uh, you know, Shaq, Shaq's a guy that, that I definitely think he can help us on the glass. Um, he's, he's still a freshman. There's been mistakes he's had, but, but uh, his best basketball is ahead of him. Um, he's got to continue to have an understanding about how, how important every possession is. And once he gets that, understands that, I think, you know, he can be, he can really, really help us. Uh, Jaron is a very talented uh, prospect, uh, ext- high, high level athlete. Um, he's got to just be able to play in the confines of structure, organi- you know, in a structured environment, which he's getting better at that. Uh, he definitely can create his own shot at any time. Um, uh, and, and, and he can be a very good defender lateral. He's got to learn how to defend without fouling, but he can be a very good defender. And Damian Wilson, I think, has been surprised, even our coaching staff. He's been a surprise, but again, he needs to learn how to play every possession, um, and that's just going to take a little time. And uh, but but you know he's got to be a slasher, uh, a defender, an energy guy is what he needs to be this year. What impressed you most during the off season about your guys? You know, I mean, uh, I felt for the guys this year there was no, <clears throat> it was pretty easy. We didn't have uh, we didn't have any issues. I mean, we just as in terms of like. Uh, having them kind of understand what what's the, the the expectations and not having to talk about all the time. I mean, guys, guys worked. They worked hard. We had early morning workouts. Uh, they worked hard with Frank. Uh, guys, guys worked hard. I mean, we've 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 pushed them, and um, so I'm excited to kind of see the the carryover once we get to an everyday situation where you can practice every day. Josh, you're a veteran coach now. No one writes how many years you've been on the job anymore. It's your fourth year. How have you changed as a coach since day one to now? Well, I'm, I'm a better coach today than I was on day one. I think I have more of a, you know, more of an understanding. I, I, I think I even look back into some things and, you know, what I, I can't believe what I did. I was like, man, we're lucky we won that game. So, um, but, you know, that's part of it growing. I mean, you, there is no manual for you to be a head coach. You kind of grow as, as a job goes. Um, uh, and, I, and I hope four years from now I'll be better than I was today. And, and, and that's just part of moving forward. I do know this, the better players you have, the better chance you're going to win games. I mean, you got to have a good talent. And I, I want to say this, you know, everyone's talked about the Big East. I've had more people say, you know, what do you, I said, look, it's not like we're going from Conference USA to the Western Conference or the NBA. We're not playing the Grizzlies. We're not playing the Rockets or the Lakers. I mean, we're still playing college basketball. The Big East, it's, it's, it's not such a separation where it's just, you know, one conference to another where it's miles apart. I mean, from top to bottom, obviously, it's, it's better. But, you know, look, you look at the league here. I mean, there's some really good coaches in this league, which is going to be the same in the Big East. I mean, so, uh, you know, I, I don't think it's going to be that such a margin of difference uh, once we get there. It's just, again, the perception, the TV packages, everything else, which will make it nice. But... Conference USA has been good to us too, but we know we're going to get to get everyone's best shot this year from the league, so we're going to be ready to go.